But I will just start out with, by saying um, I really enjoyed the episode. With this, I feel like I'm starting to get into like, oh shit, Moon Knight's tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like trying to jog my memory of like, all right, what happened? For some reason, the pacing of this show is really, for me, getting stifled by the week to week model for some reason. But I still enjoy the show. I think the performances are incredible and everything. Do you feel do you feel that at all? Or do you feel like it's just, you know, you're just running with it just like, you know, any of the No, other I think I'm just kind of running with it like a, you know, like I like the show. But no, I I can kind of see where it comes from. I mean, this episode was kind of a lot of running around mm -hmm. in like the same sort of place. And and I I felt like it was a lot of like <laughs> I felt like there was a lot going on. I felt like there was a lot going on. Yeah. To me, because um, there was we're all, we're going all these different layers of this guy's mind. It's like where are we? I don't mm -hmm. even know what's real at this point. Oh right, you want? Because I was I'll like, get into what my thought? Right. Where I think everything is when when you're done. But no, I I mean every week I'm kind of like, oh yeah, Wednesday like Moon Knight, mm -hmm. um, cool. Like I like you know Oscar Isaac, Ethan Hawke in the uh, in those roles, and I like the show. Um, and I'm excited to see, you know, what happens in the last episode. But <clears throat> I can kind of see where you're coming from, where it's kind of like, here's all this information, this one episode, and then, okay, now let's, you know, let's get to the next week and then the next week. And it just, it kind of comes like, I guess, monotonous at mm -hmm. some points. Um, but I still, like, look forward to the show. And I think maybe the show, I don't know, maybe – Maybe some I don't know if it's specifically this show, but maybe some shows work better with a just all at once model. But mm -hmm. and I don't know. Okay. It's like I get it. Like I get the people that are like, "Well, it, this one should have just been a movie." Like, there's this is the first one that I feel, and we we talked about it a little bit with Hawkeye, mm -hmm. where we were like, "Did this warrant like four and a half hours of screen time?" You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. or could this have been like a movie? I feel like this is the first one where I'm like, you would have lost some stuff, mm -hmm. but it could have been a movie. That's I, I right. think this is the first one that I'm thinking that I'm feeling that on. Um, and I think a big part of that is just like the, the exposition nature of this episode was really I was just like, man, this is some real traumatic, you know, whatever, you know, crazy stuff going on. Mm -hmm. I wish that we had gotten literally any indication of it prior to this episode at all. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because, you know, think about what, we, what we've been saying is like, oh, Steven was most likely probably created out of his, you know, trauma over either what happened with Layla or what mm -hmm. happened with Layla's father. But then to introduce, like, this whole other thing, and that's really where Steven was born, it's like, well... I don't know. It just felt very like last minute, I guess. But again, I feel like it's hard to judge when there's still one episode out there. But at the same time, like in the trailers and stuff, we we've seen like you know Harrow and mm -hmm. and Mark and Moon Knight like like leaping at each other yeah. about to fight. So I'm like, is the last episode really gonna resolve everything, or is yeah. it just gonna be like a a fight and then it's over? <clears throat> Let's talk about like the actual episode itself. Yeah. Um, for me, I thought the episode was really good. Um, really interesting to see, you know, kind of this whole balancing of the two heart, these hearts, and you know, if it if it weighs out, if it balances, you're all good. You're going to uh, spend your life, best of your life on whatever wherever they're going. Mm. But if it doesn't, you're going down, being dragged down by these zombie things. Yeah. Um, and then having to try and explore this kind of uh, this purgatory masked as a psych ward. I thought it was really interesting and in opening up all the doors to see all these memories that Mark has. Yeah. Um, at first, I thought, full spoilers for Moon Knight, I thought that Steven was going to be his... Um, brother? Yeah, like, like his kind of... Like a manifestation of his brother because he lost him. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking at first. Um, but then when he they said, oh, it was... It was Mark created Steven in order to kind of have Steven take the brunt of the emotional abuse. Wait, I guess. Yeah. yeah, and then Mark is just kind of, you know, how he is. Mm -hmm. um, which I feel like, which almost is like, isn't it kind of weird? Because you don't get that from Steven. You don't get that he's bit, he's like, you know, like, I feel like, does that track 
in your mind correctly? Because for more I think about it now, I'm like, but Steven seems like such a happy well, person. Like not Steven happy, even but. Steven even flat out <clears throat> says he has no memory of it. That's true. Yeah. So, and I'm no doctor or scientist, right, so right, like right. I don't know the ins and outs of actual like DID, but mm-hmm. like when you see mark you know like kind of like rocking back and forth and going like it's not my mom it's not my mom like that is physically and mentally him literally disassociating Mm -hmm. from himself and from his life Mm -hmm. so i think what it is 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 only it's somehow it's just like steven comes out for two things like so that mark doesn't have to deal with it directly so that he can just pretend that he is someone else Mm -hmm. because that's the thing is that that's the thing at the end of the day at the end of the day and again i'm not an expert on this but my interpretation of what the show is presenting us is at the end of the day steven is mark mm-hmm. you know what i mean like like period end of story like they are the same person they're two totally different you know uh, alters and personalities and to them they are full realized people um but at the end of the day, they are sharing one brain, one body, mm-hmm. you know, all that stuff. So I don't know. I think it's just really complicated. Like, I feel like Steven is there so that Mark doesn't have to feel like he's the one being abused. But then also Steven is there so that, like, Mark doesn't remember and then somehow also Steven doesn't remember. Mm-hmm. So I think maybe they just block it out of their memory or something. Um which is like crazy, crazy thought. What if the third personality, whether it's Jake Lockley or whoever it might be, what if the third personality is like based on the traits like of his mother? Oh, maybe. Because she's so aggressive. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah, I doubt it, but I mean, it, it, it's, it would be interesting. I think mm-hmm. that would be like a cool angle on it. I just, I just kind of put off because I'm just like, where, where was all this stuff before? Like, we had no indication of his parents, no indication of anything. We, we've we seen this past trauma of his, and then and then they're like, oh, but here's what really happened. It's all this stuff that, you had, that we have not set up at all. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well. I really thought that they – I really thought they should have just done the third personality thing in this episode. Yeah. Like, I didn't really – I get, like, to – to balance, what what would you say was to in order to balance the scale? What was, how? Did oh they yeah, do that? so like what I was telling you was like, <clears throat> I I took it as. It, this is all based on the assumption that there is a third personality inside that mm-hmm. sarcophagus. Um, I took it all as like. Uh, like when Harrow judges him in the first episode, and he says, "There's chaos in you." Mm-hmm. I took that as, okay, yeah, he can't be properly judged because there's these different personalities, people, yeah. different people in him type of thing. But no matter what Steven and Mark did, opening up to each other, whatever, it it started to even out, but it never fully balanced mm-hmm. with the two of them. Um, so what I was telling TJ uh, like before the show was, I think that it's like, okay, if you have one of them separately, which is, you know, we'll see happen um if we have one of them separately then they can be properly like judged or whatever you know they whether it's good or bad or whatever but they can be properly judged if it's one on their own or every personality has to be together as one you know what i mean mm-hmm. like so it's either like you can judge just steven just mark just jake if that's who it is or if you're going to judge all of them as one person, you have to have all of them on the same page. You know what I mean? Like, so if there's three personalities, you can't judge Mark Spector's body with just Mark and Steven because mm-hmm. there's somebody missing. You know what I mean? Like, that's like Steve and Mark can open up to each other as much as they want. But if they're not cutting the third one in, then it's never going to be balanced. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That that was my take on it. Um, but yeah. Because also, I don't even think that Steven was properly judged. <laughs> I think that was more of a, uh, l- he literally just fell off the boat. Well, he didn't fall. He got pulled off the boat. Right, he pretty got pulled violently, off the but, boat, yeah. Um, you know, I I don't necessarily think that, that 
that would have gone that way. I right, because like originally I thought they would have been like, oh, the scales aren't balancing. It's like, what, what, you know, what could it be? And then they'd be like, oh, that sarcophagus from, yeah. you know, that was, you know, let's go open that. And yeah. then it turns out it's, you know, Jake Lockley or whatever yeah. personality they choose it to be. Um, and then they're balanced because now you fully realized, you know, yourself and that you are these three separate personalities mm-hmm. and you were all sharing the same body and all that stuff. Yeah. I thought that would have made more sense to me. But, you know, maybe they do that. Maybe they end it like that. I well, don't know. But that, and, that, and then that's another thing that comes back to the overall structure. Assuming these, there's a third personality. It, yeah. Is every single one of these Marvel shows, we always run into the exact every single time. It's. We think it's one thing, think it's one thing, think it's one thing. Then either a villain or, in this case, uh, you know, a uh, death, you know, kind of like right, yeah. shakes things up <clears throat> right before the finale. And then we're like, how are they going to – we've done this with every single one of these shows. Mm-hmm. How, how are they going to solve everything in the last episode? Oh, my God. It, this episode is going to have to be like 90 minutes just to just to finish it all. And then and it never is. It never <laughs> is, and they never answer everything. Yeah. And I feel it's just I don't know. It's like I feel like I feel like now with this one, I'm like, all right, I think they need to reassess the strict six episode model. Cause it's like I, I feel like honestly, Moon Knight could have been trimmed up in a few other places to expand on a few other things. Um, now this is very easy for me to say, not having seen all six episodes and the whole picture of it and everything. Um, but that's just my take on it. But yeah, mm-hmm. last but I, I'll I'll end off. I, I'll I would give this one a four out of five. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, I think it's one of the for me, it's probably one of the better episodes. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I'm excited to see how you know they end it if they are able to stick the landing. Uh, if not, that would really suck. Uh, but they seem to be getting shorter and shorter with these shows. Because, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, WandaVision was, what, eight, nine episodes? WandaVision was nine. Nine. Because remember, it was, is there a secret tenth episode? Right, right. And then Falcon There is. It's called Doctor was, Strange. Uh, six, that was six. six. No, everything else was Oh, everything six, else was six. Except for what if. Yeah. Oh, wow. And WandaVision, like, Wanda and Vision are established characters. I mean, you have to, mm-hmm. obviously, you're... It's a bigger story, I yeah. guess. But and really, also <clears throat> they that was all kind of like COVID because two of the episodes had to get two oh, of the episodes right. of WandaVision had to be split um, because of like filming limitations, and then the first three episodes weren't supposed to release all together because if you remember, we got three episodes of WandaVision on the first day. Yeah. Um, so like I, their whole like episode and how it was like split up, I think mm-hmm. I think got a little wonky. So I think that's probably why, but it is weird. I mean, no matter how you slice it up, um, WandaVision has, you know, the most amount of episodes. Like, it's not like, oh, they all have six, but WandaVision has seven. WandaVision has nine. Yeah. So it's like, you know, where is all that runtime going? Mm -hmm. But then again, it wasn't the first, I think the first episode of WandaVision was literally 22 minutes. And, like, yeah. that's never oh. happened again with another one <laughs> yeah. of the shows. So, like, I think that maybe is, like, part of it, too, is mm-hmm. probably all has similar runtime, just is split up differently. Mm-hmm. But that's what I mean is, like, maybe, and I know we've talked about this before, like, with um, things like Batgirl and Blue Beetle and stuff, like, Warner Brothers is starting to put, you know, made for HBO Max movies on there. I feel like Disney could do the same thing with Star Wars and Marvel mm-hmm. is, like, you know, not everything has to be a show. And not everything has to be a theatrical movie. You right. could just make a Moon Knight Disney play. If you had said, oh, my God, there's a Moon Knight Disney. It's the first Marvel original film on Disney+. Plus. It's going to be two and a half hours Moon Knight Oscar, starring Oscar Isaac. You know what I mean? But, like, there you go. Like, that, that is, I think, where this show could have ideally landed. But, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, again, four out of five for this episode. Excited to see what happens. Um, 